Now, I, I've argued this is not Genesis. This is building on three and a half billion years of evolution. Think of this as an iterative process. You know, a lot of people like to think in terms of Genesis, oh, we're creating life from scratch. We're using one of the key tenets of life. All life derives from other life. We're using that three and a half billion years of evolution. We're just trying to take it over now with new software to take it very rapidly in new directions. So the first cell, now you can design it so it can easily take new chromosomes, new material to get to the next stages. So we'll, we'll see an exponential change in the pace of the sophistication of the organisms and what they can do. So, so just building on that, I mean, you, um, you, may, you had that interesting slide up saying software that creates its own hardware. Yeah. Just talk about that a bit more, because someone might say, this isn't really new synthetic life. All you're doing is you're, you're, you're writing code. You're, you're making a computer disk. You're not making a computer. Um, We're well, definitely not creating life from scratch. It, it's, an, it's an intellectual concept. We absolutely start with digital code in the computer, make that chemical molecule. We start with four bottles of chemicals, but we are absolutely dependent on having life evolve to this point to be able to take that software and read it. So it's like if you had a piece of software and you had no computer to read it on, it doesn't do you any good. But you, we can use those basic tools to get very rapidly uh, to whole new orders of magnitude. I mean, I, I understand you to say that you actually don't need to make all of life from scratch. The key thing is just to make the code, because that then does the rest of the job for you. Exactly. 